my iPhone 5S running on Verizon, an iPhone 5S running on Sprint, and a gold iPhone 5S running on AT&T. As you can see, all of them are on LTE networks, except for Sprint, which is on 3G. Now we are in Sprint's uh, covered 4G LTE area according to their map, but we're not getting 4G LTE coverage. Now the reason I'm running this is just to demonstrate how uh, fast these networks can upload and download. And to remind you that really varies from block to block, from house to house. Here you're seeing T-Mobile around seven megabits per second, Verizon at about 14. We're seeing uh, AT&T as the fastest at 22 and Sprint is only on the 3G network and it's at 0.44 megabits per second. And I'm gonna run this three times to see if we can get any better speeds from anybody, any single network. But as you can see, as long as you're on LTE here in San Francisco from T-Mobile, you're pretty solid. In fact, if you go back to their HSPA Plus network, you can also get pretty good speeds. But the problem is that their 4G LTE coverage just is not as robust as AT&T and Verizon's. And AT&T lately in San Francisco has just been blowing away the competition in terms of speeds for most locations. We did run a speed test yesterday right across the street from the Apple store and uh, it was really pretty slow from AT&T. But here we are from AT&T just blazing fast, 42.19 megabits per second down. Uh, Verizon's very respectable at, at 14 megabits per second and Sprint is barely able to complete the test on 3G. Again, T-Mobile's around eight megabits per second. I'm gonna run it one more time. Give each of these networks one more chance. And this is just a reminder, like I said, that you can't base your network decision solely based on speed tests uh, from a single location. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and see what the network experience is like at your hometown and anywhere you travel often. You'll also wanna to try to test out your networks uh, from home. Now, obviously most people don't have a phone on each network to test. Uh, what I recommend doing is borrowing a friend's phone or if you do buy a phone on a new network to go ahead and make sure you run a speed test app or a video streaming app to make sure that you can get the most out of your iPhone 5S uh, before you get locked into a two year contract. Once again, 27.3.23 megabits down on AT&T, less than a megabit per second on Sprint nine megabits per second on Verizon, and nine megabits per second on uh, T-Mobile. So here in San Francisco, at least, uh, you know, Sprint is still growing its LTE network. Uh, Verizon is pretty fast here. We see blazing fast speeds in some parts of San Francisco from Verizon, but we also see a lot of really slow speeds. And when it falls back to 3G, it is crawling, just like uh, we see from Sprint uh, on, on its 3G network. Uh, AT&T, very consistent uh, speeds around 10 megabits per second in most areas. In some spots, you'll see uh, speeds in the 20, 30, or even 40 megabits per second range. Uh, but one of the great things about AT&T is it has a pretty fast uh, HSPA Plus network, or what shows up as 4G. You'll almost never see uh, anything.